The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in the Kupiansk direction. Aviation and artillery of the Zapad group of forces inflicted a fire damage on the units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Sinkovka in Kharkov region and Artemovka in Lugansk People's Republic. Up to 75 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles and one D-30 howitzer were destroyed. In the Krasny Leman direction, the ground attack aircraft, artillery and units of the center group of forces have inflicted a fire damage on enemy manpower and military equipment close to Chervona and Ibrova in Lugansk People's Republic. Up to 50 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, one pickup truck and one D-30 howitzer were destroyed. In the Donetsk direction, the Yug group of forces and artillery have eliminated up to 285 Ukrainian troops, one tank, three infantry fighting vehicles, one armored fighting vehicle, eight motor vehicles, two pickup trucks, one Gratemolores vehicle and 40 30 Hulsers, as well as two ammunition depots. In the South Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces inflicted a fire damage on the Ukrainian units close to Vidar and Nova Mikhailovka in Donetsk People's Republic. Dermis losses in this direction during the day amounted to 45 Ukrainian troops, two pickup trucks, one D-30 howitzer and one Polish-made crop self-propelled artillery system. In the Kherson direction, up to 10 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles and one Akatsa self-propelled howitzer have been destroyed over the past 24 hours. Operational tactical aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 79 Ukrainian artillery units at their fire on positions, manpower and military equipment in 98 areas during the day. Air Defense Forces have intercepted 10 HIMARS and Smirchimal RES projectiles during the day. Moreover, seven Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down close to Alexandrovka in Donetsk People's Republic, Naugolnaya and Stara Krasnyanka in Lugansk People's Republic. In total, 405 airplanes, 228 helicopters, 3,648 unmanned aerial vehicles, 415 air defense missile systems, 8,500 521 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,078 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 4,494 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 9,287 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The other side, armed forces of Ukraine in a statement said Russia lost 610 servicemen in a single day including one tank, seven armored fighting vehicles as well as seven artillery units and 13 drones. In total, Kremlin lost 175,160 servicemen during the conflict, including 3,619 tanks, 6,993 armored fighting vehicles as well as 306 jet fighters and 291 helicopters. Russia and Ukraine conflict lasts for 404 days. There is still no peace agreements between two sides. Ukrainian side also shows footage of anniversary of the liberation of Kyiv region from the Russian invaders. We continue the struggle for the independence of our motherland. Glory to all who defend Ukraine. The armed forces of Ukraine in a statement said today. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky had an important meeting with the delegation of the US. House of Representatives from the Republican Party led by the Chairman of the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, Mike Turner. Bicameral and bipartisan support from the United States, President Biden, and the entire American people has played a critical role in our country's ability to stand up to Russia in the war for our freedom and democratic values, Zelensky said. Thank you very much to you, to Congress, my partisan support. nonton jangan lupa like subscribe dan share ya